With 25 candidates in the running for Bakersfield mayor, you're bound to find some unique candidates. And one of them played with a heavy metal band known for its controversial and explicit lyrics. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson sat down with the candidate to see if he's worried about his past catching up with him. Brandon? Well, Tim and Jackie, having ties to a band that prides itself on explicit and often sexist lyrics could certainly hurt an aspiring politician. But one local man prides, has pride in his past and embraces it and doesn't plan on letting it affect his race for the mayor's seat. <laughs> Heavy metal and tattoos. Not what you normally associate with a candidate for mayor, but Mark De Leon is embracing his colorful past and present. I hold tattoos like it's history to me. De Leon wants to make some history, too. He's making a second run at replacing Harvey Hall as Bakersfield's mayor. I want to bring more attention to local businesses. That way we can. De Leon has ties to bands like Korn and Slayer, his career as a musician allowing him to rub elbows with some of the greats. But it's that past that has some questioning whether De Leon should be the face of Bakersfield's future. One viewer even contacting 23ABC about those concerns. De Leon played with a band called The Mentors, who described themselves as a shock rock band, their lyrics often suggestive and sexually explicit. Pushing the envelope is pushing the envelope, and I did play with a band that majorly pushed the envelope, but I also am a hired musician. I made a career out of playing music. But De Leon says that being paid to play with the band is not the same as being a member of the band. If people want to formulate an opinion about a job I had, you know, that's, that's on them. I'm sure they got a lot of skeletons in their closet, and mine's not in the closet. Mine are, you know, anybody's welcome to come in here and ask me anything. Contrary to his critics, De Leon says he's proud of his past, intent on not letting it affect his campaign. I embrace my past. As far as my present, I am a family man. I've been a family man before, but I have a five-year-old little girl. As for the tattoos and former rock and roll lifestyle, De Leon thinks it could all help him in the race. Everybody comes in here, uh, every walk of life, lawyers to to biker gang guy, you know, doctors, everybody comes in here, everybody's welcome to come in here. I embrace it, bring it on, bring it on. Now, De Leon finished second in 2008 when he was facing three other candidates, but this year he'll be facing 24 others. In downtown Bakersfield, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.